will understand it's our 15th annual uh, Christmas concert, community Christmas concert. And I'm grateful for all of the people who have put in so much work in, in decorating the church and preparing uh, food downstairs. And uh, the, the talented, the wonderfully talented people who will be uh, uh, lifting uh, praise up to God uh, this <laughs> evening in this concert. I'd like to recognize one particularly energetic lady uh, who has put in a lot of work, continues to put in a lot of work, and today is her 90th birthday. That's Irma Landis. Come a big round for her. matters. Uh, if the need should strike, the restrooms are downstairs, either downstairs that way or downstairs this way, uh, but at the base of these steps, uh, men's and ladies' room. Uh, if uh, you're not already aware, uh, we have an elevator. Uh, so if you have a particular problem with steps and, and you didn't find that out in coming up here, you can find it out in going down. Uh, just follow the signs out this door to the elevator downstairs. Um, immediately following the concert, uh, we will have a time of food and fellowship uh, downstairs directly below the sanctuary. And I encourage you all to stay and enjoy this time together as, as, our, as this community of faith here in the Tri-Towns. Um, we, we have taken all the calories out, uh, so, so you, know, you have to have nothing to worry about there. Um, and with all of that, uh, let us say a word of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you are the one who has come to redeem the world and that you are the one for whom we wait for your coming again. Accept this, our offering of praise as we lift up our voices and our talents. Be with us in your spirit that we may be strengthened in body and spirit, in worship, in fellowship, and with good food. We ask all these things, Lord, through the name of your mighty Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Evie Rose is going to be the first to bless us with O Little Town of Bethlehem. They come from people outside of our area, having no special connection to our church. A 
except that they want to be a part of this celebration of those who have gone before us to make this world a better place. They come from persons who were formerly members of this church, who are remembering their loved ones, loved ones who were also the backbone of this church at that one time. They come from present members of this church. This year, we have, we have given $1,330. The money will be divided between our local Warm the Children and the Boys of the Joy. I now symbolically bring the light from the tree outside into our sanctuary. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we light this tree and this candle, let the light pour into our hearts. Let us continue to hear what you have to say to us. Let us continue to help others. Let us this night remember all who have been a part of this celebration, living or past. As may we be so blessed that one day people will remember us this way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. I'm not usually the face you see up here. Normally it's Cindy Shermasser um, is in charge of this concert and she did all the work to get it together. Um, but her husband Eddie's in the hospital, so she asked me to do a little bit of introducing. But we definitely want to thank Cindy. She does so much to put this together. Um, there are lots of people here who are also helping, so thank you to everyone who has pitched in to put this together. Um, one quick announcement, the club boss has asked that I announce that at the Kaiser Presbyterian Church on December the 3rd at 7 p.m., Keel Steel will be performing, and the proceeds for that will go to their Haiti Education Fund. So another great performance um, to be seen during this season. Okay, I'm just going to go through and introduce everyone. I think probably we all know each other, but we're, <laughs> we're going to just... Make sure everyone sees who the performers are, and then we'll get on with the concert. So we begin with my Darnell Allen. Darnell has been with us for a number of years, and it's a familiar thing. Um, our second group will be the group that I'm with, three humble worshipers. It includes uh, Reverend Thomas Morgan, up front here, who is the pastor in the Lenkheim and Martin Presbyterian Churches, and Melissa Tucker as well. Um, Jean Markle, I understand, is not going to be here this evening. She's been here for a number of years as well. Uh, Fred Engel is up here from Kaiser. We have Pat Mott and Lori Evans from our church here. We have Richard Ritter in the front. Tammy Trenton. And David Lennon. So we want to thank all the performers and everyone who has helped out in the church. So, I guess I don't say Merry Christmas yet, but you know, we'll be here before you know it. In uh, the Bible, in St. John 3.16, I think everybody knows this scripture. And I'd like for you to say it with me at this time. All right? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. This song <clears throat> comes from that scripture. Oh, how I love Jesus. And when I get to the course, I'm going to ask you to sing with me. I'm singing one of the verses and then the chorus. There is a name.
yourself to the side.
when you can so Matthew. In St. Matthew, the first chapter, 21st verse, somewhere around there, it says that Mary shall bear a child and a son, and his name will be called Jesus, and he will save his people from their sin. And this song is my answer to that. I will serve